All right. So, welcome to uh, Happy Minds Online uh, Yoga Club, I guess. Uh, most of you practiced with us before. Oh, there's Marianne, I think. <laughs> Hello, Marianne, can you hear us? Thumbs up. <laughs> yeah. All right. <laughs> All right. So, sit in front of your mat. And just close your eyes for a little moment and take a deep breath in and relax your body. One more, inhale like a balloon, breathe in and then pop it. And one last one. And relax. Oh, someone here coming. As most of you know, in the, our yoga class, we start with three ohms, but we do a variation of it with three silly ohms. A few more people have just joined. Oliver oh. and Aiden, I think, have just joined us. <laughs> Hello, Aiden. Hi, Oliver. <laughs> okay. So oh, just this is so started. funny to speak to everyone online. Ah, right <laughs> oh, it's so cool. Okay, so we were just going to get into the ohms. And as you know, we usually do three ohms. Um, everyone wanting to start with a gorilla ohm, thumbs up. So we always start with our silly ohms to just get our silliness out. Yeah, that's a, a long thumbs up. Yeah, let's do it. So, <laughs> see Oliver's ready. Okay, so close your eyes and breathe in. Oh! oh. I think we Close. could do um, maybe a Tarzan on. Tarzan on. Tarzan on. Yeah, perfect. Let's do it. Hold on to your reeds. Ready to swing through the jungle like Tarzan. Very good. <laughs> nice. Very you good. Look the wild swing. <laughs> <laughs> Should we do an opera on? Yeah. Okay. We'll go high with our opera arms first of all. Close your eyes and breathe in. Beautiful. I wish I could hear everybody's arms. I think they would sound really beautiful all together. I think so. Should we make a low one? one. A low, a low opera arm. Everybody was making a silly face like me and Jonathan were. I did so. <laughs> All right, and we're going to now try to do three series. And I invite you to take your hands and just put them on your heart. And feel your heart beating in your chest. And then breathe in. Oh. Then gently massage your face, eyes, forehead. Mm. Relax. Very nice. Right, everyone feel good? Thumbs up. A few more joining us. Amazing. Okay, cute. so today we're going to continue with our warm up exercise as we always do in yoga. We're going to do sun salutation A and sun salutation B. Uh, and after that, we're going to sit down and we're going to do two, first one concentration challenge. That, and then after that, we're going to do some uh, more poses and then total yogic shake down. <laughs> so for anyone who hasn't practiced yoga before, I'm just going to demonstrate what a sun salutation looks like. So stand in front of your mat, hands together in front of your chest. Take a deep breath in and relax your body. Don't forget to smile. And then hands up to the sky. And looking down towards your feet. 
and then halfway, look up, and then step back or jump back to the plank pose, and hold, and then look up to sky, and then come down to the downward dog pose. And here, hold for five seconds. Pretend that you're a dog. Three, four, and five. And then step in between your hands, halfway up, and then look down towards your feet, and then up towards the ceiling or the sky through your thumb, thumbs. Coming back. Namaste. Very good. So that one is what it looks like. Very nice. <laughs> So, we're going to do three of them, and then we're going to do a variation of that. So, we get warm in our body, stretching a little bit, opening up everywhere. Ready for our sun salutation. Okay, very good. <laughs> okay. Is Kiwi coming on there? Yeah. Nice. Okay, everyone ready? Hands, front of the chest. Looking up towards the sky, down towards your feet. And then look halfway up. And then jump back. We'll step back into the plank pose and hold. And then look up towards the sky. And then become a dog. And we'll be pretending to be a dog for five seconds. Breathe in deeply. And breathe out. Three. Four. And five. You choose to step in or jump between your hands. Look halfway up. Look down towards your feet. And then come up, looking towards the sky. And thumb. And then namaste. Very good. Relax your body. Smile. <laughs> and then third one. Look up towards the sky. Down towards your feet, and then look halfway up, and then challenge yourself and jump back to the plank pose and hold. Be strong, looking up towards the sky, and then come, come a dog. Five seconds. Three. In. Two, one, and then challenge yourself and jump between your hands, looking up, and then towards down your feet, and come up, looking towards the sky, through your thumbs. How do you feel? I feel a little bit warm. How does everyone feel? <laughs> Are you warm, cold, feeling strong? <laughs> Yeah, nice Ralph, nice girls. Shake a little bit. Gilly, uh, uh, fantastic. Okay. Oh, we're doing one more, right? I think that was three. Okay. I'm not sure <laughs> I'm going to trust you on that. Okay, then we'll do a variation. And most of you know what it looks like, but for the ones who haven't practiced before, I will show you quickly because we're going to add three poses. So standing in front of your mat. Hands together. Put those concentration goggles on. Concentrate with your whole body, okay? Think about each movement as you move your body. First, your chair pose. And then second, looking down toward your feet. Look halfway up. And then jump back. Hold the plank. And then look up towards the sky. And then down towards the door. And then step in with your right foot between your hands, lifting up. Feel strong as you come up. Comfortable, safe. And then down towards the plank pose again. Oh, bring the strength from the warrior pose, looking up towards the sky. Down towards that downward dog pose again. And then step in with your left foot 
between your hands, lifting up. Feel the strength as you come up, looking towards the sky. And then down towards the ground. And then looking up towards the sky. And down. And become a dog for five seconds. Use your imagination. What does it feel like being a dog? Breathing deeply. Relax your body. Into the pose. Two and one. And do a small jump. Challenge yourself. Looking halfway up. And then down towards your feet. And back into sitting on that chair. Ooh. Comfortable. Hold your chairs. Be strong. Come back to the standing position. Whew. Okay. So that was the variation of the sun salutation. Everyone ready? Put ready to do it together? Two more together. <laughs> How are we feeling? <laughs> All right. Nice. Okay. Okay. Whew, we're gonna get warm. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe even a little bit sweaty. We should be sweaty. But we will get stronger. Okay, hands in front of your chest. Relax, focus, concentration, and smile. And then sit back on that chair. Look towards your feet. And then look halfway up. And then challenge yourself as you jump back into the plank pose. Up, looking towards the sky, and back into that dog. Step in with your right foot between your hands, creating a strong base for a warrior pose. And then relax into the plank pose, bringing that strength, holding on, and looking up towards the sky, down to that dog again, and step now in with your left foot between your hands. Being strong, looking towards the sky, down towards the plank pose. Oh, looking up, and then down, two, down, breathing deeply. Feel the strength, challenge yourself. Three, four, Five, challenge yourself and jump between your hands. Looking halfway up, down, towards your feet. Sit back on that chair pose. And come back to standing position. Whew. How does it feel to do that slow? Should we do one faster? A fast one? Faster one? Okay, a little bit faster <laughs> one. Okay, straight into it. Standing in front Last of your one. mat. Last one. Last one. Hands in front of your chest, feeling strong. Good See order. Everybody's doing. Everybody Thumbs up if fine. you're okay. How many are a bit sweaty now? <laughs> oh. <laughs> They're saying no. Half. Oh. All right. Maybe we should move a little bit more <laughs> then. Okay. So then I will add some poses. So when we are in this downward dog position, I want you to jump between your hands. To sitting and then fold forward. Okay. And then come up and then jump. <laughs> Plank pose. Up. The downward dog. And then jump. And come back. Okay. Okay? Challenge accepted. Challenge accepted. Very good. <laughs> That's what happens when this is a stay on Elena's fault because not being too sweaty yet. Okay. Hands in front of the chest. Look up towards the sky, then down towards your feet. Looking halfway up, and then jump back. As you would fly into the plank. Looking up towards the sky, down, becoming a dog, and challenge yourself as you want to jump between your arms into a sitting position. And fold forward, trying to grab those feet and close yourself as it's. Sandwich. And then looking up again, putting your hands next to your legs, cross your legs in front of you, lean forward towards your hands and back to the back pose. 
up towards the sky, and then down to the downward dog. And jump between your hands, looking halfway up, and down towards your feet, and all the way up towards the sky. And I must. Should we try one more? Do one more movement then. We'll do B again and see if everybody. Okay. Does. Yeah. Okay. Are we ready? But Whew. we're gonna do a twist pose in the end of B. Okay. So we're gonna. I will demonstrate what to do. Oliver knows this pose. He calls it the elegant pose. The elegant. The elegant pose. So first we'll do B. Okay, looking up towards the sky, down towards your feet, looking halfway up, and then jump back, floating there, flying in the sky, down towards the plank pose, looking up towards the sky again, down to that dog. And this time, step in with your right foot between your hands, lifting up towards very strong or Coming down towards the plank pose, Coming up towards the sky, down towards the dog, and stepping with the left foot between your hands, creating a strong base for your warrior. Coming down towards the plank pose, feeling the strength from the wall, coming up towards the sky, and down towards the dog. Jump through your arms to a sitting position. And I shall demonstrate what to do. Ooh. Take your left foot next to left foot, left foot, left foot, left foot. Left foot. <laughs> and then the right foot next to your left knee, like so. Lifting your arm, right arm around towards the side, left arm around your left knee, and twist. If you can't do that, it's no problem. Just put your knee and try to put your left arm just slightly on your knee and press over to the right side. And then we need to challenge ourselves doing on the other side. So sitting with your right foot next to your left leg. Taking your left foot next to your right knee. Left arm around the other side, taking your right arm around your left knee, trying to grab your foot or only holding it next to you, creating a twist. Very good. And then come back to sitting position. Okay, I don't know this. <laughs> Very warm. Okay, so. We should do short meditation and then we do the total yogi shakedown. Okay? I want you to sit in front of your mat. Take a deep breath in. Relax your body. One more. Relax. And one more. And relax. So here comes a concentration challenge. So open your eyes and take both of your arms in front of you. And I want you to try to, we're gonna roll around. So take your left hand towards your chest, rolling it round like this. And then you take your right hand doing the opposite motion. At the same time. At the same time. I'm gonna do one hand. I'm so gonna... one towards the chest and one going out. <laughs> This is concentration practice. <laughs> How well can you concentrate moving the right hand, forming a circle going out towards your chest. Next one going in towards your chest. <laughs> Doing the opposite circles around each other. Concentration well. practice. This is the, the yoga challenge I give to you. <laughs> and perhaps you can show us, film a little video and post. <laughs> It's not easy. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good meditation practice. So have fun with that. <laughs> We're good at Thumbs up if you got it. Did anybody manage? Harder. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Very good. It's Very a bit good. like 
rubbing your tummy and passing so your head. At the same time. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> so let's do a total yogi shakedown. Total yogi shakedown. So okay. for those that are new today, when we do the total yogi shakedown, we listen to some music and we're going to dance and shake and move our bodies, feel completely silly. And when the music stops, you can pick any yoga pose. Mm. So you can either follow what me and Jonathan are doing, or if, or if you know a yoga pose or any pose that's frozen, you can choose that. Okay, we're going to feel a bit silly. And we're probably going to get hands, very out of breath. <laughs> your arms, your face. And we'll just have some fun. Your toes. So, standing up. Are we ready? In front of your mat and shake it off a little bit. Shoulders, legs, feet, all the things. Shaking your body is healthy okay. for you. Awesome yoga, you'll never feel blue. Food, I see, I see, I see. You've got to be kidding around. This is how we do it. Total Yogi Shakedown. Try to lay as still as you can. Relax your face, relax your hands, your jaw, shoulders, stomach, your bum, your leg. Thank you. 
from the floor. Try not to move. See no bit. Only concentrate, relaxing the body, feeling the body. I invite you to squeeze your left foot, squeeze your left foot as hard as you can, let it go. And then squeeze your right foot, squeeze, 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 and then and squeeze your left leg, squeeze it, and then go. And then squeeze your right foot as much as you can. Squeeze and let go. Now squeeze your bum and let it go. Relaxing your legs and your back. Now squeeze your stomach and let go. And let go. Now squeeze your shoulders towards your ears. Squeeze both of your hands, great and two fists. Squeeze harder on your face. And now make as ugly face as you can. Squeeze your face in the middle. Squeeze. <sighs> My second challenge today, before we get there, is if you can try every time you meet a family member or a friend, before you say anything, give them your biggest smile. Smile towards them from the bottom of your heart. And see what happens. And try to do that every single time. And notice how you feel after. And perhaps notice what happens to their face when you smile. So before we open our eyes, I want you to practice this smile towards yourself your hands on your heart and give yourself the biggest smile as you can. No one can see you. So smile as much as you can. I feel smile. Now, before opening your eyes, on the sitting position. And I want you to put your hands in front of your chest with the palms together in the Namaste group. And then gently put them on your heart again. And I want you to forgive yourself for something. It could be something small. Perhaps not saying thank you for the food you've eaten. Or perhaps something else that you want to say that you're sorry to. But before that, I want you to truly try to forgive yourself. Let it 
Deep breath in. Go. Just for a moment, try to find something to forgive yourself for. If you can find something, that's also just a smile, pause, back to what you can find. And now rub your hands. Faster, faster, faster. Gently put them on your arm. Then open your eyes. Hope that was fun. <laughs> Are we feeling? We feeling good? <laughs>